Hey guys, welcome back to Squill and Pig Guitars. My name is Ben Keatley, and today we're going to be going over another awesome Fender Stratocaster. For another episode of Those We Love, this is the series where we go over the best stock we have here at Squill and Pig Guitars and show you every inch of the guitar and show you how it sounds. So if you'd like to follow me, we're going to go into the stock room. I'm going to check out this awesome Fender Stratocaster. So guys, we're back in the stock room now. Let's check out this awesome guitar. So as you can see by this black Torx case, we have a Fender Custom Shop Pink Paisley Limited Edition model. So what's to talk about this about this one? So this is a late 60s model, 1969. So you get the cool kind of large headstock. Um, obviously you've got that awesome Pink Paisley finish um, with the relic job as well. Um, you see a lot of these uh, from the Made in Japan series in like the 90s, but you don't really see them from the custom shop too often. One of the cool facts about this guitar is that um, it was from the Wildwood 10. So if you don't know, Wildwood are uh, quite a renowned dealer in the US, um, California, and they have awesome custom built guitars. You can see on like their Instagram and stuff from Gibson to Fender. So this is one of their custom shop uh, made to measure type things. So let's go over the specs. So. In this guitar, we have some John Cruiser pickups, which are actually called Wildwood 10 pickups, hand wound, which is a really cool fact. Um, the board is a 10 inch radius with Makata black inlays. And the cool thing about this is with the uh, late 69 headstock is that we actually have the Malmsteen decal, which is on his signature models. So it's kind of like a cool kind of hodgepodge of features and specs into one guitar. Um, in terms of the condition, obviously it's quite hard to condition these relic guitars, but um, it's a fairly new model, so it's obviously all factory relic. Um, and apart from that, you know, you've got your standard tone, two tones, one volume, that kind of thing, everything you'd expect from a Strat. And as we say, it's a limited edition, so very rare guitar, a very cool one if you're a fan of, you know, out there guitars. In terms of players that have played these, I think uh, James Burton's known for playing like a Paisley Strat. So now that we've gone over the condition and all the specs, let's go and play in the uh, showroom out there and see how it sounds. So if you'd like to follow me, let's go. So this is just the tones from the pickup. So here's the neck pickup on full volume, full tone. <laughs> neck and middle. Really honest sounding pickups these, it's really good for finger picking. This is the middle one. This is the bridge and middle, great for that kind of dire straight sound. not too ice picky for a strat, it's got quite a nice balance to it. Really good for high picking. And then this is just some random playing between the uh, positions. Mm-hmm. 
Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, obviously today we went over this awesome hot pink Paisley guitar. If you have any questions about this guitar, uh, make sure to leave them in the comments below or send us an email. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. We hope you enjoyed.